Yeah, hi all. Good uh, morning. So <clears throat> uh, here actually kind of practice group. Now this is a very good question. So here we have uh, an employee A table. Let me create this table. Ten minutes already exists. So let me drop this table first of all. Okay. So I'm trying to create a table employee. You can see the rate of this table A. So this is the rate of employee A table. I will explain what is the question before that. Let me show you the table structure and then I will ask what the question is. So this is the employee A table. And then we have one more table employee B. And this is the employee B table. Okay, so the question is that uh, in these two tables, employee A and employee B, question is regarding in operator. We all know about the in operator in SQL. So quickly, I will summarize this operator. What does what it does? Okay. So suppose if I'm writing select ID from employee A, where ID and select ID from employee B. So this in operator will check for the IDs which is present in employee A table as well as employee B table. So this is the functionality of in operator. Let me execute this. Let's verify the output. So this is the query. This is the output. So now if you will observe this output, so you can see like this ID is one, one and zero. These IDs are common in employee A and employee B. You can see this 110 is present in employee A table, and this 110 is present in employee B table as well. Okay, and this is the uh, functionality of this in operator. If you're writing this query, it means you're asking from SQL engine that SQL fetch me the IDs which is present in employee A as well as in employee B. So SQL engine has given you this output that okay, these IDs 11 and 00 are present in employee A as well as employee B, okay? Now, similarly, you can uh, change this. Change means you can find the IDs which is present in employee B and present in employee A as well. So both are one and the same, but let me show you the output for this as well. So now this is the query. This is the output in front of you, okay? <clears throat> Okay, fine. So here you can see this ID is 1100 are present in both the tables. So it is present here and it is present here as well. So one thing I want to highlight that in operator, it considers the duplicate record. Here you can ask question that this one is coming twice. So it is coming twice here as well. So in operator, it considers the duplicate. But if you're using minus operator, it doesn't consider duplicate. Okay, that's a different topic of discussion. I don't want to compare it now. Uh, here one more question is that here you can see this is null, right? And this is again null. So the question is null is present in both the tables employee A and employee B, right? Why then null is not coming in the output here? Because as for this query, we are asking from SQL engine that SQL fetch me the IDs which is present in employee A as well as employee B table. So here null is present in employee A table, and null is present in employee B table as well. So this null is present in both the tables. Then why this null is not coming in the output? So the reason is this in operator. Let me highlight this. This in operator, this works on the absolute data. Okay, absolute data means which have some meaningful value weightage like one, this is absolute, two, it is absolute, zero, this is absolute. 100 this is absolute why because you know what is the weightage of this what is the value for this right but null null we don't know what is the value of this right so in a transaction if something is mentioned as null you cannot consider it as a zero you cannot consider is that at a as a one or 100 it can be one one million as well okay so that is why uh, in my previous videos i have mentioned the difference between zero blank and null 
So null means it is a bucket of a lot of assumptions. You are not sure what is the exact value. So you are not sure about the exact exact weightage of this. And because of this, you don't know the exact absolute value of this null. And that is why when you're using this in operator, it fails to catch the null records. Here you can see the null is present in both the tables, but here in operator cannot catch it because it cannot compare that whether this null is equal to this null or not. Why? Because null is not an absolute value. It's an it's a it's a possibilities. It's a lot of it can, it's possibilities of assumptions. A lot of assumptions can be there. Okay. So that is why this null in operator it fails to capture the null. Okay. That is why you cannot see the null is not present in both the tables. This is the reason. Okay. So whenever you are studying any keywords of SQL, whatever it may be, we always try to understand the behavior of null, how it behaves with null. Okay, so this is one concept. But now the, the twist part is in the same query, suppose if I'm writing select ID from employee A, where ID not in, okay, where ID not in B. Consider this query. So from this query, I'm asking from the SQL engine that SQL fetch me the IDs which is present in employee A, but not present. That is why I've written not in, but not present in employee B table. Okay. So let me uh, show you here, show you this query first of all here. So here we're asking the IDs which is present in employee A table, but not present in employee B. Table. So that is why I have written here not in. So before I execute it and show you the output, let's do some manual analysis and try to understand that if I will execute, what should be the output, okay? So just look at this uh, data. So here you can see, let me copy this again. Here you can see that in this employee A and employee B table, so IDs which is present in A but not present in B. So let's take one by one, ID one, it is present in employee B. So we don't want this. Next record, this ID one, this is also present in employee B table. We don't want this as well. Next is zero. This is also present in employee B table. So we don't want this. Again, this is zero. This is present here. We don't want this. Coming to two, ID two is present in employee A table, but it is not present in employee B table, right? So this is a good candidate. Okay, let me highlight this. Again, this ID two is present in employee A table, but not present in employee B table. So this is again a good candidate. Okay, next ID three, this is present in employee A table, but not present in employee B table. So this is again a good candidate, right? Now null, right now we have discussed that null comparison does it happens in in and not in operator because it fails, right? So as for the analysis, we observe that the output should be two, two, three, because what we observed is this output two, two and three are present in employee A table but not present in employee B table, right? Okay, now let me execute this query and let's see what is the output. But SQL engine is telling no data found, right? So here, this was the question asked by one of my uh, uh, participant of the SQL practice group. SQL is telling SQL engine output. SQL engine is telling there is no such records no data form. SQL engine is telling that there is no such record such as present in employee A, but not present in employee B. So now we are confused here because we can see that this ID 2, 2 and 3 are present in employee A, but not present in employee B. So what is the reason why SQL is telling that no data form, right? So this is a big uh, confusion. So let's try to understand why it is happening. Let's try to understand one by one again, okay? So first of all, your SQL engine will start from the first record, ID one. Is this ID one present here? So yes, it is present, no confusion. Again, this ID one, it is present here, no confusion. Zero is present here, no confusion. We will not consider this record. Again, the zero is present here. We will not consider this record. Now, ID two, this is a, uh, uh, means, uh, we are facing problem for this record ID two. Now let's see what is happening here. Your SQL engine will compare this two with this one. Is this two equal one? No. Is this two equal one? No. Is this two equal zero? No. Is this two equal this zero? No. Is this two equal four? No. Is this two equal four? No. Is this two equal four? No. 
So we have done the comparison till here and we concluded that this ID2 is not present in employee B, right? And that is why we mentioned that ID2 should be the right candidate to be displayed in the output. But if you will see here, we have null as well in the last, right? We have this null as well. When the SQL engine will consider this, compare this two with the null, so it cannot compare it, right? Why? Because same reason, this is null. This is a bucket of lot of possibilities. This null can be zero, it can be two, it can be 10, it can be 100, anything. So here, when the SQL is doing comparison with this, it is confused that whether this two is present here or not. Okay, it is confused here, what to do? So that is why it is not giving this output. He is confused that whether this two is present here or not. So that is why it is telling that no data found. Similarly for this two as well. When, when it is comparing with all these records, it is sure that it is not present here. But when it is reaching to this null, so it is confused whether this two is is equal to this null or it is not equal to this null. So that is why it is not giving the output and it is telling that no data found. This is the reason. So the conclusion is your in operator works on the absolute data, absolute value. Okay, if there is a null, it will it will it will not compare that. It will fail in comparing comparing the null values. Okay, so this is the reason you are thinking that two to three should be the output. But SQL engine is telling that there is no data form. So even if you will try this on SQL Server, you will get the same output, no data form. And this is happening because of the this null. The null comparison of an absolute value will not happen. SQL will get confused whether this is present here or not. Okay. So hope you have understood this uh, uh, concept. Okay. Thank you.